So Bruce Howells and Carol Wagner did a study looking at infants and toddlers. And also, uh, Catherine Gordon showed 2,000 units a day, 50,000 units a week for six weeks was perfectly safe, right? Pregnant women, Bruce Howells and Carol Wagner showed that if you give pregnant women 4,000 units a day, you could raise your blood level to 125 nanomoles per liter. There was no toxicity. Serum calcium was perfectly normal. The most sensitive indicator, of course, is if there's an increase in urinary calcium excretion. There was no change. 1,700 have a blood level above 125 nanomoles per liter. A very small percentage have above 250 nanomoles per liter. None of them had any evidence of toxicity. But you can become toxic because those that had blood levels that were way above uh, 900 nanomoles per liter had a calcium of 17 milligram percent. So vitamin D is very safe. And you don't have to worry about taking a supplement and going out into the sun and even eating salmon every day. You will not become vitamin D toxic. And indeed, we also know, of course, that vitamin D is a hormone because it's made in your skin, goes to your liver, and then to your kidneys to get activated. But curiously, not only are your calcium-regulating tissues containing a vitamin D receptor, but every tissue and cell in your body has a vitamin D receptor. Why would they be there if they weren't having an effect? First study was done in 1979 by Dr. Tetsuo Suda. He showed that leukemic cells that had a vitamin D receptor, if you incubated them with the active form of vitamin D, they became normal. So this introduced the concept that maybe improving your vitamin D status could be a benefit in reducing risk for cancers. That if you just give a person 1,000 units of vitamin D a day, potentially could reduce risk of colorectal cancer by about 50%. Out of the nurses' health study out of Harvard showed nurses that had the highest blood level on average of about 125 nanomoles per liter, 50% lower risk of developing breast cancer. Also, Bob Heady's group showed women taking 1,100 units of vitamin D a day reduced risk of all cancers in four years by about 60%. That prostate cells actually could activate vitamin D. And we went on to show, and many others have reported the same, is that many cells in your body have the capacity to activate vitamin D, regulate a whole host of genes, and then induces what's called the 24-hydroxylase to destroy it. So that as soon as it enters a cell, it begins the process of it destroying itself, but in the meantime, has a lot of beneficial health effects. It's estimated up to 2,000 genes are directly or indirectly regulated by vitamin D. DoctorsToTrust.com. Please share this video with loved ones.